President Ekufado has challenged the National Farmers and Fishermen Award Winners Association and other FBOs to work hard to show up Ghana's financial gains from the agriculture sector from its current annual $2 billion. And the president was addressing the farmers group at the Jubilee House when they paid a care call on him. The agribusiness leaders were at the presidency for the third time to discuss pertinent issues of concern which will help promote effective agriculture in the country. National Chairman of the National Farmers and Fishermen Awards Winners Association, Davis Cobo, lauded the president for keeping fit with farmers and engaging with them to move agriculture to a higher level. He listed multiple challenges members of its outfit are facing, including agriculture financing, shortfalls, issues of marketing, pricing and pricing stability of their produce, among others. The Cabo urged the president and his administration to give these concerns his immediate attention. We are very grateful to you for the Gessel intervention where uh, risk mitigation, Gessel is so to mitigate between 25 to 70 percent of the risks. So we see that by doing that, then we should be able to achieve the single digit unit interest rate. Because once the risk is lowered, then that is what to do. But it is also important to know that the banks are also in business. So we are pleading that if we could have a special vehicle, purpose vehicle for agriculture in the various banks, so that all lending to agriculture we could attend the single digit. President Ikofado assured the leadership and members of the association that their concerns will be addressed going forward. I think you know that all over the world, credit to agriculture has always been a very tricky business because your business is tricky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's important, but it is still tricky. And I think that all over the world, what has been done is, in fact, what you propose, to find some kind of special purpose vehicle to be able to handle credit to agriculture. The Minister of Food and Agriculture and myself have been talking about this matter in great detail for the last three to four months, and I'm hoping that very soon we'll be able to announce uh, something to the country that will address this problem. Because really, as you quite rightly said, the African continental free trade area comes into operation and we're looking at it in July. I've just come from Addis Ababa and the Assembly of the Union, the heads of state have reaffirmed their commitment for the AFCFTA to be in operation by the beginning of July. Uh, we have to be prepared for it and the issue of how we organize credit to our, our farmers is going to be a major issue 